Well, today in South Carolina, Dylan Roof spoke to the jury that will decide whether he gets the death penalty for the Charleston Church Massacre. The same jury convicted him of federal hate crimes for the murders of nine black parishioners. Mark Strassman is in Charleston. Dylan Roof spoke softly and calmly to jurors. The reason I chose to represent myself was to prevent my lawyers from presenting a mental health evaluation. Forget what my attorneys have told you about my mental health. There is nothing wrong with me psychologically. He did not apologize. He also never admitted to the killings the way he did to FBI agents the day he was arrested. I went to that church in Charleston. I did it. Assistant U.S. Attorney Nathan Williams was emphatic today. This defendant's horrific acts justify the death penalty. He killed them because of the color of their skin. This case is worse because of the premeditation, because of this defendant's lack of remorse. Williams introduced Roof's jailhouse journal, which he wrote six weeks after the murders. I would like to make it crystal clear I do not regret what I did. I am not sorry. I do not shed a tear for the innocent people I killed. Clemente Pinckney, Mother Emanuel's pastor, was one of them. His wife Jennifer and six-year-old daughter Milana were hiding under a desk in this adjoining office during the massacre. Jennifer Pinckney told jurors as Roof kept shooting, the petrified girl whispered to her, Mama, is Daddy going to die? By then, Clemente Pinckney lay among the dead and dying. Sharon Risher's mother, Ethel Lance, and two of her cousins were among Roof's victims. To have him non-existent on this earth, I mean, my life still has to go on. If he dies, he's not going to make my life better. At one point, Roof objected to the sheer number of relatives and friends testifying about their losses. Josh, the judge reminded him that's because there are so many victims. Mark Strassman there in Charleston. Mark, thank you.